Bioshock 2 hard difficulty walkthrough for ArmageddonGaming.com. So now is the time to use up the rest of your atom because when you come back in here, you're pretty much just gonna get thrown right into a fight. So if you can save that turret, it helps in the last fight, but not enough for it's worth reloading a save to get the turret back. Uh, do some shopping if you must. I just come down here, see what's on sale. Um, considering I don't waste time hacking anymore because it's really unnecessary. Unless it's like a security camera, I don't hack machines. Um, I have two vending experts on me right now. That's really all I needed. Um, I purposely didn't buy a lot with Adam because even if I did fight all the little sisters, I would have cut them out anyway because they're just unnecessary to put all of them in the walkthrough. But I didn't fight all of them, nor did I find a need to. If I did fight any aside from the mandatory ones, I did cut it out. So, I bought only what was necessary. Um, just going overboard and buying everything really isn't worth the trouble, unless you're going for the achievements or trophies. And I really wasn't making an achievement or trophy run. I'm just, I'm going to go back through the game again after this and try 100% it, aside from the multiplayer collectibles, or achievements I should say. But anyway, just heading through the ward again. It's a different ward than the first one obviously, but it's pretty much the same deal, I'm just running through a couple hallways, dealing with some splicers and having a little standoff serving the world at large with no regard for herself to force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away that was your gift to her delta just as she hoped you must be very proud so now lamb's kind of being a bitch so I'm gonna deal with her, or it will be. So there's gonna be a Houdini splicer in here. Um, assuming you didn't walk in here, you can just shock the water. I'm not completely sure if you can actually do damage to him before you walk up to him anyway, so I didn't bother trying. There's going to be another one around the corner you can do the same trick on. He doesn't see you until you get up close, so come hop on this bed and throw a toaster in this tub. Bioshock 1 reference. Or achievement reference, I should say. So you can open this door and you can head back into the room you just came from. I just come in here to clear out the splicers that spawn, and this way you can buy any loot if you need it. So it's just a lot of looting from here to the final pediatric ward, so I'm going to let it be. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.
the girls managed to dart past the nurse today, threw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed. I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them a dozen times each due to the small window of viability. Now those children may be immortal, but I can verify they feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. 